Hi, I'm Michael Killen, and I made the painting behind me, which is called Gone with the Wind is the Electric Grid. This painting just came back to my studio. Last week, it was at the Silicon Valley Energy Summit, and about 400 people were at that event, and this painting was prominently displayed. And early next week, it is getting shipped over to Facebook for an event. I wanna share with you a few things about this painting. First of all, the genesis of this painting and what inspired me to make it was a meeting with NASA. NASA has in the past come to me and shared data with me about things that might happen and that it felt was not getting enough exposure in the world. NASA said to me they have forecasts that predict there'll be a whole new series of storms that will be more powerful than anything we have seen. And also those storms will be more frequent. And in that meeting, NASA asked me if I would capture the feeling or the thoughts of these new, more frequent and powerful storms and the impact they may have on the infrastructure of the United States, as well as the infrastructure of, of the rest of the world. And I thought, for a moment and I said, making a painting that addressed all the different parts of our infrastructure, buildings, roads, etc., was just too broad. And I agreed and suggested, let's just take a look at the impact of the storms on one piece of infrastructure, the one which I think is the most important one, and that is the electric grid. When the electric grid goes down in Houston or uh, Orange County or wherever, if it stays down for more than a few weeks, a month, uh, governments will have to evacuate people to another area. So with all of that in mind, I decided to make this painting, which is called Gone with the Wind is the Electric Grid. Now I'm sitting in front of part of it which is sort of the buildup, the beginning of the story, which, which points out that we are the people, the force that creates greenhouse gas emissions. And those greenhouse gas commission emissions are what creates the storms. And let me just see, here is behind me uh, a storm that has gained in considerable momentum and force. And over here is a telephone pole. And let me back up for a second. To address a topic like the impact, the destruction of the electric grid, you know, it's a very, so many things involved and so many pieces, elements, whatever. To get a handle on it, I decided to just take one telephone pole. The breaking of one telephone pole is symbolic of the breaking of billions of telephone poles. So here's a telephone pole uh, being broken by this storm. And we can see some things moving in this direction. I tend to move things toward Congress. That is not the White House, that is Congress. I tend to think the White House functions. This is Congress and you may see it's broken. And most people in both parties, the Republicans, the Democrats, the Independents, all recognize that over the last eight years, Congress has really been broken. And so I see the force of things breaking and the storms going through the broken Congress. And, and notice, it really is Congress and us that create this problem. Uh, it's because Congress will not deal with the emissions at this point coming out of smokestacks. I mean, this is a smokestack. And Congress gets a tremendous amount of money from the industries, the coal industries, the utilities that burn coal, coal and other types of energy that create all of these emissions. That's why I put broken Congress on this smokestack. And now you, you just may say, what in the world is a clown doing up there? Well, I made a whole series of paintings called Dire Consequences, 
send in the clouds. And I want to remind you when we send in the clouds, when you have an argument with your children, or something happens between you and your children, or your parents, your mate, or whatever, or if something happens, and it does happen in a lot of families, countries, etc. Sometimes there is no going back. There is no solution. The parties must separate. And when something like that happens, we all often say, send in the clowns. You send in the clowns when there's no way to patch up the system. So I sometimes think, I hate to be thought of as a negative person, but I tend to make all these paintings because I want to bring to your attention what I'm thinking about because it may help you take actions that do some good. So here I have a clown watching what is happening in this world with the storms, with the electric grid. And that clown is able to see the broken Congress not acting. And that clown is starting to think that if we don't act, we may all sort of fall into a great, great abyss, a great, great hole. That's why I have that hole over there. And if we do fall into this hole, and, and that would be symbolic of the storms, let's say knocking out New York City for two months, okay, or San Francisco or whatever, that'd be a great disaster. If that kind of thing happens over and over again worldwide, then what could happen? We could fall back to the days of the caveman and the cave woman. And I hope that never happens, of course, but it is possible. And so these figures up here are figures from the famous Lascaux cave in France. Those figures were painted, not here, but in the cave 20,000 years ago. As I started this short little uh, statement here, I mentioned this painting just came back from Stanford Silicon Valley Energy Summit 2016, where it was prominently displayed. We're gonna pack it up in a couple of days and it's heading over to Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael Killen, and I'm in Menlo Park. My website is killen.com. My email is michael at killen. Dot com. I am about to start my most important painting. Thank you. Nice pause at the end. Uh, move your mouse to the uh, stop to the to the stop record. End meeting. You are being told that a, the video that you just recorded will be dumped onto your hard drive as soon as you hit end meeting. End meeting for all. End meeting for all. You're